will ask for the uh, the four companies who from the from the cluster who to pitch uh, the view on AI to pitch the activity and I first call uh, Segolene uh, who indeed works <laughs> at Cantify and uh, indeed there is a clear link between what you do or part of what you do and uh, uh, the Iridia lab. So I'm Segolene, I'm the CEO of Cantify and I'm going to be to try to stick to the timing because having been a speaker at the Data Innovation Summit, I know that in this house, sticking to the timing is very important. So I've had the opportunity to speak with some of you already tonight. Um, know that uh, AI is important, know that they have to think about it, but are uh, asking themselves many questions. And uh, those questions are, okay, how do I get started? Where should I get started? And um, uh, yeah, what are the applications that are good for me? So in five minutes, it's too, too, too long to, 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 uh, to explain, of course, but I'm going to share with you a few insights. As a company, you can see two main ways to uh, apply AI. One is to develop custom build tools, so custom applications for you, but for your business. And the other one is to use off-the-shelf AI, off the shelf AI solutions, so, so solutions that already exist. So when do you do such choices? We see, and this is a big part of our activity, that companies that decide to go on a specific development, so develop their own AI solution, uh, have specific constraints. So the constraint they have, or the asset they have, is they have data. They have data that is unique to their company and that they can leverage. So this is, for example, customer data, operational data, about uh, how you produce your goods or services. Sometimes it's also a constraint because the, the, the data of the company is so specific that they have to have their own solution so uh, they can uh, leverage it with artificial intelligence. And the goal, of, very often, is to gain a competitive advantage, however you define it. These are some of uh, the examples of how you can leverage AI and how you can leverage your data and gain a competitive advantage with artificial intelligence. Of course, I chose some of the uh, applications that we have, uh, use case that we have been working on. So what is, here you have the strategy, here you have the application. Companies that seek to increase relevance towards their customers, they go towards hyper-personalization, so recommendations that you mentioned. Reduce error, anomaly detection, you also spoke about it. Uh, maintain customers, so, uh, many uh, companies uh, use AI, for example, to reduce churn or to uh, uh, predict when their customers are going to leave. And the, the, the last one uh, we listed here, but there are, of course, plenty more, and that's what uh, really interesting for companies such as ours, is to increase yield, and one of the ways to do so is to, to perform algorithmic pricing. So this is really on how you use artificial intelligence to uh, support your strategy, and this is one of uh, the pillars of our activity at Cantify. One short example, Moniz, uh, so I met, for the little story, I met Moniz at one of the, um, the software Brussels events uh, a, few, a few, few years ago. Moniz uh, is, for those who, or of you who use meal vouchers, uh, meal vouchers are those uh, vouchers you use to go to the restaurant that are paid for by your company. And, uh, and uh, Moniz was one of the, 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 the latest players in the industry, and what they want in their strategy is really about um, providing a good experience to their customers. And Moniz uh, decided and wanted to provide personalized restaurant recommendations. And we met, we developed uh, solutions for them, and now on their applications you can have, wherever you are, a recommendation of a restaurant that corresponds to your taste, but also to some of the things you may want to discover. So the second way you, you want, you can use AI, and, and as an SME, I think it's also very, very relevant, uh, because uh, some of the SMEs um, have less resources, less time, and sometimes less data as well, is to use off-the-shelf solutions. Um, the goal is here is to be more efficient and uh, to yeah, to be to have to use solutions that are already uh, plug and play and can help you to go faster or to be better because they are leveraging AI. So here I have another example of uh, uh, solutions we are developing, and I have some uh, some some demo slides up uh, on our booth. Um, is Fin uh, a solution that we developed that uh, can parse, that can extract, read a document? Um, of uh, an invoice like a, like a human can do. And uh, the, the goal of Fin is to be able to read a document, read an invoice, however the format, and to be able to extract uh, some key data uh, that uh, many companies need to, need to parse, which is the VAT number, the, the amount, etc. So this is the dashboard, but this is just uh, to illustrate the content. Um, this is, and this is uh, the website, so we just opened the, the beta, basically, so it's very important for us. 
it's a key week, and that's why I wanted to, to, to let you know as well. Um, and uh, so uh, if you, some of you are active uh, in accounting, for example, or in uh, uh, document extraction, document reading, feel free to log in, feel free to test, feel free to give us feedback. We would uh, really welcome so. And uh, so in the, one of the slides I didn't uh, show now is uh, really how much data do you need uh, per uh, use case? Because this is also some of the, um, of the, of the questions we have. People that are considering artificial intelligence always ask us, but do I have enough data? So I have one of the slides here, and for some of you that want to speak later on, I can show you, uh, depending on the use case, what is the level of data you want to, uh, you have to, uh, to, um, to plan or to consider. So that's what it, in five minutes, perhaps a bit more. Um, it's, it's very short, but uh, thank you, uh, Rodolphe, thank you to the team for uh, this invitation. It's glad to see many of you uh, around the, in the room and, uh, and looking forward to speak with you. The booth is up there, so thank you.